What's going on, good people? It's Robert Kendrell Carter. Uh, thank you for watching the African channel. Uh, African. That's where the K-E-N comes in. Uh, a little name I created for myself, you know. When you make change, you have to sometimes uh, rename yourself. And that's what I'm attempting to do. Well, not to prolong the time, I'm back on because I want to give an update. <clears throat> and um, I got all of my uh, layers on because it is cold as hell in Waxahachie slash Dallas slash whoever else is around here. Um, I'm at CR England, uh, the Dallas Inn and Suites. That is where you stay if you come in and stay in on site to go to school. So let me give you all a little update. I think the last time I posted a video, I was sitting in the Houston bus station waiting to um, get on a bus to head to Dallas and then from Dallas to Waxahachie. Um, first of all, I got to go back to, I got to go back to that Houston station. Give me a second. I got to go back to that Houston station. It was funky. It was a lot of homeless people around there. And that is not um, to talk bad about the homeless culture, but when I tell you what Greyhound allows, it is just not a good um, sojourn. It is not a good um, traversing <laughs> terrain uh, to go and travel and smell all those smells and just stand and, and, and lie and wait. And sometimes the bus schedule be off. So if you're coming by bus, be ready for the journey. That's all I can say. So I stayed in the Houston uh, terminal of, of for about six hours. Got on the bus. Uh, we left out about 7.30ish, 8 o'clock. Uh, got to Houston. I mean, got to Dallas from Houston. Um, had to stand in line and wait three hours uh, for the Waxahachie bus to come. And then they let us out at the Waxahachie bus station and it was you know by this time you seeing everybody that's coming in if if you didn't if they're not going to CR England they're going to CRST so there was a lot of talking and hoping and people giving their history and all that good stuff so once we got there we got on the shuttle we did have a little complications I think the man left the truck running or something they had to get the battery jumped we came to the Dallas Inn and got to our rooms. Now, about the rooms. It is definitely just a holding spot. You ain't got no stove. You say Dallas Inn and Suites, but Suites normally have a little kitchenette or something. Um, just be ready to, uh, I feel like I'm in trucking military. Just put it like that. I'm not going to put them on blast because I thank God for CR England helping me get my life up from the ground up. But it's not, it's not the Ritz Carlton. It's not the Marriott. <laughs> it is not the Embassy Suites. It's Dallas Inn and Suites, all right? Um, so what do we do? We went, took a little Walmart run got some food and all that kind of carrying on. And then um, the next slept, next day we got up, we had to be up like five o'clock in the morning, uh, line up, get on the bus. They had two big old buses, school buses. And they bus us out to the school, sat in the classroom, answer the roll, get all your study material. And for the first week, and we still in the first week, as I speak to you now, still in the first week. For the first week is practically you learning how to pass your permit uh, test. Um, I had been studying before I got here. 
Uh, so that wasn't all that hard for me. I'm still studying. And as a matter of fact, I was supposed to take my test today. But here's what you need to know when you come. If you have a Texas license, you don't need your birth certificate. But if you don't have a Texas license, you need a birth certificate. Um, you're going to need your Social Security card. Of course, you're going to need your driver's license. Um, some people come with CDL already. So if that's the case, if you got a permit already, that's the case. Good you. For me, starting from the ground up, all I got is a simple Texas license. So that's what you need. License, um, Social Security card, and two forms. They're not the create the recruiter might not tell you this, but you need two. I hope I said a creator. <laughs> the recruiter might not tell you this, but you need two forms of um a proof of residency. Something like, you know, light bill. Um I know for me, because I didn't bring it, I'm getting faxed my apartment lease and uh, like a student loan bill. Um, to show that you live, you know, where you live. Um, and everything you need, you know, $25 to pay that fee. I know they may tell you you need $86 because I think it's like 65 plus 25 something like that. Um, I don't do math in my head. Laugh. Uh but you don't have to pay it right on. You don't need it in a big lump sum. You just need to do that first 25 um, to make sure that you, you get your permit. And then once you go to take your CDL test, you'll need your $65 or whatever else it's, it, it's going to cost. Um, and you have to understand the environment around here is pretty much, you know, you're here to get your CDL. So you're studying practically. On your own time. I got to knock it up. Come in. Who is it? Oh, I got a visitor. <laughs> I'll be back.